two things I'll say about our sauces. The first thing is, they fit the pots. The second thing is, they are beautiful. Okay, here the fellas are packing the, the sauces for this container here. The first thing they do is they shine them up. Then they write the price on the inside so that even the most humble shop assistant can tell the size of the saucer. But the biggest difference between M. Lennon and everyone else is this. Everybody else wants to sell you a set of four sauces or a set of five sauces. M. Lennon only sells you the sauces you require. This customer only wanted two sauces. They get two. This customer wants a set of three squares, so they get three. If you needed, for example, 50 30 centimetre sauces, we send you 50 30 centimetre sauces. You do not have to buy the set. You only have to buy what you want to buy. Evelyn Lennon sells a huge range of fillers. We call fillers money for jam. A customer comes into your shop and buys a filler, they are not buying the filler instead of a pot. The filler is an add-on, and we sell a heap of them. Here's an order being prepared for a container. It's got small pot men in it. Wing, what uh, container is this? The uh, stuff. Okay, this container here is going to Melbourne. This, uh, this fella here has got a very small shop, and this is how many of the mini pot men are buying. He is, in fact, not even a pot shop. He is a landscape supplier that happens to now be selling more of our pots than he is selling of his landscape material. Hey. Hey, here's a great idea from Emlyn. Snow White Pebbles. What we do is we do them up in packs of 10 kilograms. They come in a plastic bag and then we put a netting bag over them in case the plastic bag gets damaged, the netting contains the pebbles. Back in Australia, if you went to a store, you would pay about $19 for 10 kilos of Snow White Pebbles. At M. Lennon, you get them for $4. But the advantage is, we send them to you as filler, and they go freight free. If you buy a set of two pots, and you've sold all the big ones, and you're left with the little ones, you want to order more pots, but you say, I can't order more pots, I've got enough little ones. What you can do with M. Lennon is you just order the big pot. And then we put a couple of bags of pebbles inside the big pot to get the value of your container up. Which means you're only buying the pots you want. You are not buying the pots that we have to sell you. These here are our sandblasted pots. Uh, two things to note about the sandblast. A lot of the opposition do a pretty light sort of a sandblast. You don't get the real texture. And they charge for it like wounded bulls. Our sandblast has got plenty of texture to it and our price is very reasonable. We can do any shape in sandblast. This finish here is called high fire. It's called high fire because it's fired to 1250 degrees. Normal ter terracotta is cooked at 1050 degrees. So it's an extra 200 degrees. Uh, an extremely tough pot. Any high fire pot we can do in texture. Any high fire pot we can do a sandblast. This finish is called Karatsa. We sell shiploads of it. It comes in two colours. That's the black and this is the white.
that's the white. They do uh, many different colours in terrazzo, but we found that uh, the white and the black just leave everything else for dead, so we only carry the white and the black. The better seller out of the two, 70% black, 30% white. A very good seller. These, these pots here, they look like terrazzo, but they're not terrazzo. These are fiberglass. Terrazzo is very heavy. These, very light. Most people use these fiberglass pots for water features because the fiberglass don't leak. We sell heaps of these things for water features. They come in a square shape and a rectangular shape. That's our fiberglass. And we'll take a photo here and we'll get you to add it onto the fiberglass section. Right? This here is a set of three fiberglass. One, two, three. Do you have to buy a set? No, you don't have to buy a set. You buy what you want to buy. Very good sellers. Chris is good at pretending that he's working because he does it for a living. Mm. <laughs> you got that on tape? <laughs> This is our R&D department. Uh, this fellow here called Chris James. I met Chris when he was lecturing at a tertiary institute in Sydney and I reckon that there wouldn't be another person in Vietnam to have an understanding of glaze technology like this bloke. What it means is, is that we are not a staid firm. We are going ahead. We're not following, we're trying to lead. These are all the experiments that Chris does to get a better quality glaze. Never going to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Should we get him this out of the sun? This is some of Chris's work. Uh, what uh, Chris is trying to do is to uh, create a range which we're going to call the backyard range. Not a pretty, pretty pot that you'd have in the lounge room, but something a bit rugged looking for the backyard. And uh, as you can see, Chris has made some substantial progress, but by no means have we finished with it. We still have to do a little bit more to work on it before we actually uh, market it. That's our backyard, backyard range. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah